What's going on, Graveyard Shift family? It's your fearless shift leader, Dalen Spratt, clocked in for another, another, another amazing shift. We're somewhere new today, y'all. We're somewhere new today. I've never been to this resting community before. So, uh, yeah, I've already said my introductions, but I'll definitely say them again. My name is Dalen. I'm with a group of people called the Graveyard Shift. And what we do is we come to resting communities like this and we speak to those who maybe not have been spoken to in a while. We come in love, 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 peace, respect, most importantly, love and respect. So if anyone would like to speak to me, please feel free to speak to me through this box. I can hear you and communicate with you. I may not be able to hear everything you say, so if I miss something, please don't take it as a sign of disrespect. Just know that I'm trying my best to hear what you're saying in real time, but I'm recording it, so I will be able to go back and listen to it afterwards. Love, love, love. Let's get to it, Graveyard Shit family. He said through this little thing. My name is Daylin. Can you tell me your name? I apologize, I couldn't hear you. Can you tell me your name? Bill. Bill. Bill, are you somewhere around me? Really said not really. Are you resting somewhere in this community? No. Too much is known. Bill, where are you? I did. You said I'm dead. Okay. Okay. Is there anything that I can do for you, Bill? No. Okay. He said, Who is this? This is Daylin. Hi. How are you? So, Bill, man, tell me about yourself. Say so you're worried. Bill, how old are you? You get it? You say 27? Okay, you're 27? Okay. Do you remember the year you passed away? So you know it? Bill, can you tell me what year you passed away in? Did someone just walk around me? Somebody say it's me. So we 
Who's the name of the person that was just moving around me? Said me. Can I speak to whoever? Can I speak to someone that's resting in this area? Said family. Yeah. Can you tell me one of the names that's on these headstones right here? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all. It said Bill again, right? It just said Bill. Look at this. Y'all, we kept hearing Bill. Tell me, what is what is William? What is short for William? Right? Bill, right? Right? Or am I wrong? I want, right, Will, <laughs> y'all, we be playing this game. We play this game a lot. William. So Bob is short for Robert. And Bill is short for William, right? Okay, so Bill kept coming through, y'all. So I feel like Bill Blodgett, born in 1886, passed away in 1923 might be who we're talking to so maybe we reposition ourselves here in front of bill and see what the conversation is like yeah bill don't worry brother i'm right here I'm right here. Let me make sure you can see me, Bill. All right. Oh. Bill, I feel like this was you trying to get my attention. Am I right? So what is there to do? Right. That he's black? I am black, man. Somebody said, I belong here. Wait, I do belong here or I don't belong here? Something about from Dallas. I am from Dallas. He's looking. Well, William, do you like to be called William or Bill? Did they say Jawan? So he didn't mean it? Where? Said my turn. Who was that? Who just said my turn? <laughs> he said, "What is there to do?" You had enough. Here comes a jogger. <laughs> Am I interrupting your time? Say, mm -mm. Say, come visit. Do a lot of people come visit you?
Yeah. Said also. Um. Yep. 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 <laughs> Do you like this being your Bill? Bill. There he is, Bill again. Bill, man. I appreciate you coming through speaking to us. Are you resting peaceful? No. No? You're sad? What? Yeah, why are you sad, Bill? Family? I'm Doorway. Is there anything that we can do for you, Bill? Is Rosemary or Mary Ellen around? Is Rosemary or Mary Ellen available to come through and help? If they're not. Uh oh, who's desperate? Bill? Bill, what are you desperate about? You, are you trying to find someone? It seems like you're here with some of your family. Are you missing some of your other family? Say we're with them. There's Walter. Move it. Move it. Why are y'all telling Walter to move it? I don't know, y'all. That's interesting. Here, let's let's look around a little bit. Let's look around a little bit. Okay, so we have. So this is the Ansley family here, and all of these are the Ansley family members. Ansley family members. Then we have Annie Louise Ansley Busher, 1871 to 1953. Okay. Then we have Alfred Scott. Busher, March 10th, 1867, December 1st, 1930. Then we have Betty Elizabeth Sanford. Okay. Then we have William H. Blodgett. And then Molly Blodgett. I wonder if maybe they were married didn't it sound like he said something about kids or children so maybe hear me out maybe william and molly were married and they had kids and they're not buried with their kids maybe that's a thing i don't know i'm just guessing i'm just assuming y'all i'm just assuming y'all tell me what y'all think let's look them up on find a grave and who was this? Then we have Francis B. Waddle. Huh. That's really, really interesting. Very, very interesting how Bill came through repeatedly. 
And that's before I even knew that we were surrounded by a William. So I'm sitting there asking, who wants to talk? Bill comes through. Then I ask, can you tell me if someone's around me right now? Bill comes through. Like, y'all, I'm starting to think we getting kind of good at this, y'all. I'm starting to think we getting kind of good at this, y'all. Like, people are really starting to acknowledge us, man. Like, this is really, really cool. It didn't seem like Bill was, like, in a place that was just horrible or a state that was just horrible. You know, sometimes we get, like, something that sounds painful. But I asked for Rosemary and Mary Ellen to come through. Surprisingly, neither of those two came through. But, <laughs> of course, came Walter. But as soon as Walter came up, something told him to leave. So we still haven't put our finger yet on who this Walter could be. A lot of y'all have a lot of opinions on who may, who Walter may be and where he came from. But until we get down to the bottom of it, you know, we still got to treat everybody with respect. So we just have that, you know, mutual understanding. Cause we don't need Walter out here on a rampage now. <laughs> we don't need Walter on a on a on a on a graveyard shift rampage at all. This is a beautiful resting community, y'all. Look, look, we have so many places for us to do sessions. This is the Avery family. What does this say? Archer Avery, MD. Okay. Okay. Doctor of medicine, loyal friend, devoted husband and father. You have Eugenia Fulton, wife of Dr. Avery. Uh, she passed away on Valentine's Day, 1918. Love, love, love to the Avery family. Love, love, love to the Avery family. Uh-oh. You know, anytime we get those birds calling, we tend to try to see what's going on in that direction. But yeah, so tell me how y'all are feeling now about our spirit box, y'all. Like, I think now some of y'all's ear are starting to become acclimated to the, our spirit box that we use. You know, for a long time, it was hard for other people to kind of hear what I hear. But now you guys are catching on. Like, I feel really great having y'all as backup telling me what I miss because you guys hear exactly what's being said. So it's cool that y'all's ears are becoming acclimated to the box. This Grace Hammett, 1915 to 1956. Amy. Y'all, did we hit the jackpot? We have Miss Amy. Reagan Hammett, July 2nd, 1884 to October 3rd, 1986. You were 102 years old, Amy. Amy, we haven't met anyone that has been older than you yet while doing the graveyard shift. Amy, man, we gotta know the keys to life, Amy. We go out to, we go out to do a spirit box session with you, Amy. We need to know what is the key to, to long, long, long life? 102? You saw a lot of life, Amy. I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind if we come back and do a session with you. Y'all, that's cool. Tell me that's not righteous. 102 years old, 
yeah we finna do a spirit box session with amy y'all y'all this is another 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 episode of the graveyard shift i'm about to clock out and clock into another one and uh let's see if we can talk to amy and see if she gives us the key to a long life love 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 look at the beauty of all god's creations look at the beauty of all God's creation. Oh, yeah. While I'm still talking. <laughs> Y'all. Yes, I am a Christian. For sure. A hundred percent. But I don't be trying to put my ideologies and belief system into these videos. But hell, that's all I know. <laughs> so for those that think differently of me. So if I'm always talking about heaven or hell and you don't believe in heaven or hell and you feel like I'm pushing my Christian beliefs onto the channel or my Christian narrative onto my questioning. Well, that's what I know. And you got to realize, y'all, respectfully, this isn't about entertainment, but more so about the journey. You feel me? So I apologize if it's not entertaining. <laughs> But that's not the point of this. It's not to be entertaining. It's for us to really, really get questions answered. So my perspective comes from a Southern black male Christian <laughs> perspective. So my questions come from all the stuff I've been taught, whether it's right, wrong or indifferent. So if I'm asking about heaven or hell, that's because I've been taught when you die, you go to either heaven or hell. I don't know what atheists believe. I don't know what Buddhists believe. If I did, if I was, I would ask those centered questions. That's where y'all come into play. <laughs> y'all are my Buddhist contacts, my atheist contacts, my uh, 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 Canadian. Con <laughs> why I put y'all? Why I put Canadians up there with <laughs> Buddhists and atheists? I don't know. I'm just messing with y'all. The point is, we are a huge family with a lot of different belief systems. So if I'm asking questions that maybe don't fit your belief systems, that's just because that's just what I've always been taught. So it ain't no disrespect. It's just what I know. And that's how I lead my questions. So if you have questions based on your religion or religious beliefs that you want me to ask, please let me know, because that's what we're here for, y'all. We welcome any and everybody. We are all inclusive. <laughs> We are all inclusive. So, yeah, put drop them questions. Let me know what it is you want to know. And, uh, yeah, we'll get back to it. Love, love, love.